Life on our planet is carbon-based, which is why carbon-based chemistry is called organic chemistry. However, if you look right below carbon on the periodic table, you can see its friend silicon right there. This is because carbon and silicon have the same amount of valence electrons, or electrons in the outer ring of the atom. Thus meaning they can form similar bonds and similar chemistry, but despite the similarities, silicon-based life will look very different. We need oxygen to survive, but oxygen turns silicon molecules into silicon dioxide, effectively turning a silicon creature into a rock. While we use water as a solvent to transport nutrients, water actually breaks up silicon molecules. Researchers at MIT found the best solvents for silicon-based life include liquid ammonia, liquid methane, and coming in at number one, sulfuric acid. So where do we find these conditions? Let's explore. Venus is a possible but unlikely one, and sulfuric acid clouds can sustain a theoretical aerial biome. Titan is more ideal. There's no oxygen, no liquid water, and an abundance of liquid methane. However, carbon is much more abundant on Titan than silicon, but is found deep within the Moon's core. Even with that little bit of surface silicon, in conditions where carbon is present, more stable organic molecules will form over organosilicons. Okay, but with the billions of exoplanets estimated to be in our galaxy, there have to be at least a few carbonless, waterless, oxygenless, sulfuric acid filled planets, right? Well, currently we have no way of knowing if any planets are truly ideal for silicon based life, as our telescopes are only able to detect the makeup of planets' atmospheres. So like many things in science, we'll just have to keep looking.